Court of the Dragon Queen, Book 1, Session 7 Night Hill is assumed to be kidnapped and located in this camp. The cultists are set to watch Wander and Khaleesi in his tent. Everything seems to have calmed down as it is lunchtime. The drakes are acting as watchdogs over the camp. Tooth and Dre will go check out the cave, whilst the other two will assist the uh, younger campus boy and his men, master. The boy makes them go find a water hole to fill up some buckets. There seems to be a water place by a kitchen type area. Khaleesi and Wander are being noticed by the cultists. As they reach the wet water, they start to get the water. Then they hear a large crash as the coal boats are trying to eat the chef's soup. From above, there was a firebolt shot down in killing some of the coal boats. It was sent down by a human woman. Short dark hair and a scythe. Looks like part of her face has been injured in a healed wound. It looks like it healed wrong. She is one of the higher-ups wearing a robe. The cobalts run off and all the cultists bow. She seems to hold all the power. If you cannot get a hold of your pest, I will get rid of them for you. She notices Khaleesi and Wander. The woman tilts up Khaleesi's chin. chin. Her eyes look nearly obsidian and black. I don't recognize you. You're new, yes? Khaleesi? Then Wander gains her attention. Wander being panicked. Oh, you don't need to be scared. I simply want to know the initiates' names. Wander tells her their name is Ruby. The woman is a dragon fang. She is with other dragonborns. One is f six foot five, and the other is seven foot five. These dragonborns seem to be afraid of the woman. Wander and Khaleesi finish getting their water. The woman's name is Monda. She is Dragon Fang Monda. They return to their temp master, and the initiative talks about how the woman is rumored to have taken down a baby dragon, a metallic one. There are only a few dragon fangs. Each dragon fang has killed a um, metallic dragon. Dre and Tooth go to try to see into the cave, but there seems to be guards stopping people from going in. Monda's sight is made from a tooth of a dragon. Everyone seems to be avoiding the cave. Everyone seems to be gossiping at lunch. That blacksmith is going to be doing a lot of work. That monk is going to last more than three days. The citizens seem to be tortured physically for info. The blacksmith brings out something wrapped in leather for Mondath. It's torture instruments. There's a dragonborn that offers to torture the monk, but Mondath denies the request since she doesn't want him to die. The slave work starts again. Mondath takes her tools and heads into her tent. The blue dragonborn guards, and the black dragonborn goes in. There are horrible screams, blood curdling. It can be assumed that Mondath is torturing the monk. Mondath opens the tent and whisper the blue, whispers to the blue dragon, "Grab all the initiatives." Khaleesi and Water gather in a semicircle. The blue guard stands tall. Monda drags out a small, young half-elf, and is not looking good, likely the monk. Two people tie him to a T-like sh shaped beam thing. The black dragon takes out the torture tools. Monda speaks out to the crowd to the initiative. She picks out a younger elven boy, likely a moon elf. He looks like he's close to pissing himself. <laughs> The boy doesn't seem to be able to torture the monk. Any initiative who can get information out of the monk can be fully fledged. But the elven boy is crying. 
Gandalf has a drink. Eat the boy. A human initiative comes out of the crowd to try to get information. He goes to torture the monk, asking, How did you know we were going to attack Grenis? Mondath actually asks. The monk who attempts to spit at her. The co- torture continues by another initiative. Having kids do your dirty work is pretty low, he teases Monda. Monda threatens the monk again, and the monk laughs at her, while ter- tearing up. Your threats are nothing. A black dragonborn interrupts her, and then a beaten and bruised night hill is dragged down. There are lar- there's a large roar sound in the distance. Everyone is told to make room for a giant blue dragon as it lands in the center. Mondath and the dragon bow to each other. Mondath calls him her lord. The dragon teasingly pokes the initiatives, one of the initiatives in the chest. The dragon tells her they need to make to move mo- north because they've been discovered. Mondath climbs up the dragon as they need to talk. Sainrath is the blue dragon boar, and Ishmir is the black dragon boar. The prisoners, Nighthill and the monk, are brought back into the tent. There is a thud in the distance, likely of chopping heads. We enter the tent and try to convince the guards to leave. The prisoners seem to be in Iron Maidens. Dre and Tooth convince the guards to leave, and Nighthill smiles as he sees us. These people are fucking ruthless. We release Nighthill and Leosin, but not sure of a woman in the third. Tooth casts prejudice dissertation on Leosin and Nighthill, cleaning up the cuts and clothes. Tooth makes some sheets look like robes for Leosin and Nighthill. We roll the mysterious lady on into a rug. Tooth and Dre work together carrying her. We all make a beeline for the exit via Sneaky. There's guards at the entrance. We mount our horses and get on them, and we ride through the hills back to Grenis. Tooth teases Nighthill about his girlfriend, and Nighthill gets flustered. Leosin wanted to let Nighthill know about the attack when they have a moment together. We decide to push through the night to get to Grenis. We make it to the town and head to where the survivors are. Looks like the town has been worked on. One of the guards try to stop us before seeing we have Nighthill. Nighthill greets them all. When Hell hug spins him. See, she is your girlfriend, Nighthill. Tooth says, causing the two of them to blush. We go into the building and Night Hill is sitting with his shirt off. There is whip marks and Winfell has claws on her hand as she tries to clean him up. Dw- the dwarven man starts to heal Leosin. Leosin has been studying the movements of the cult. Starting in the north, start starting just brutal murder and then getting more organized and started kidnapping. We figured Grenis would be next. Winfell bristles and Nighthill puts her hand on her knee and to calm down. Two ladies bring us food and drinks. Leosin's apprentice runs in to see him, very excited. Leosin sends him away to take and takes a huge swig of his drink. The cult seems to be gathering something for something with gold and people. He plans on going up to north to Odathar to talk to a monk named Galdar. They also met at Camp Candle Keep. Leosin asks us to return to camp to find out about the cave. The plans are destroyed to yet unified. We find out Leosin had made a guess about the attack. The cultists are very secretive and often kill those who leave. Leosin is telling the truth, it seems. There seems to be a method to the madness. To get the money reward for checking out the cave, we go to El Torel to find Leosin again. Mondath may be a sorcerer. The ranking system, the lowest is Dragon Claw Initiatives and Red High Dragon Fang. The captives are often sur- separated and shipped off, and the remaining are put to work. We rest in the town on some cops for a long rest.